Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different types of exceptions you have faced in Selenium WebDriver? Let me answer. So here is the list of exceptions, guys, that you can answer as part of that interview question. So the general basic exception that everyone faces or come across while working with Selenium WebDriver is no such element exception. Apart from no such element exception, there are other exceptions like no such window exception, no such frame exception, no alert present exception, invalid selector exception, element not interactable exception, and many more guys. Now, let me practically show you how to get these exceptions using some sample Selenium automation code. So here is a sample Selenium automation code, guys, uh, which uh, I can use for demonstrating few exceptions for you so that you can answer this particular question in a confident manner. Fine. So uh, here, what I will do is I'll first uh, uncomment this one. So what will happen is uh, the script will take you to this particular page. When you run the script, it will open this URL, this login page of this tutorials ninja.com slash demo. So it will take you to the login page. On this login page, let's say we'll start with the first one. Let's say the login button, okay? Let's find this login button. So if I have to give this valid button, right? So let me uncomment this no such element exception. I'm going to demonstrate first this no such element exception. When does it come? So here I created this uh, driver.find element by dot xpath. I gave proper xpath, but uh, okay, this is a proper xpath. Double slash input at the rate value is equal to login. This will definitely find this particular login button. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to modify it a bit. Okay, I'm just going to add something like this. Login, some, some invalid text I'm just adding here. So this particular locator will not be able to locate this uh, login button now, right? So what should happen? Okay, when you when you run this kind of script, guys, what should happen? An exception will be displayed, guys, okay? If you're not adding this kind of stuff, then no exception will come. But if you want to get this no such element exception, then I'm just modifying it like this, okay? Instead of giving a proper value, I'm just modifying it so that uh, this export will not find any element on the page. And uh, as a result, you will get this no such element exception. Let me now show you practically. Let us let me run this code and uh, you'll get this no such element exception because this export is not uh, a proper export of finding some element. This export cannot find a proper element on the page. So no such element exception will be displayed in the output. You see, now go to the Eclipse ID output and see that just go here and uh, see that we got no such element exception. Okay, no such element exception. No such element, uh, no such uh, element unable to locate element with this particular xpath because I modified this xpath, right? So that it will not locate any element. Uh, when when this particular xpath doesn't locate any element, we'll get no such element exception. So hope you understood when this particular no such element exception occurs. Now let me comment this. Let's go to other exceptions, okay? Let me demonstrate other exceptions like uh, no such window exceptions, okay? So what I will do is I'll go to the same page, okay? I'll go to the same page and I will switch to a particular window which doesn't exist. I'll try to switch to a window using this command guys, driver.switch2.window abcd, okay? I'm just randomly giving some window name guys. That window is not available on this page. There's no window with this particular thing, right? So what will happen guys, when there is a no window and you are trying to switch to this particular window, which is non-existing window, what will happen? You will get no such window exception, okay? Let me run this. Sorry, let me save this first and just run this. You will get no such window exception because there is no window on this particular page having this ABCD kind of thing, okay? So you'll get that uh, no such window exception. Just go to the output and see that you'll get no such window exception. Similarly guys, similarly, I'll try to switch to a frame which is not there on the page, okay? So I'll go to the same page and I'll try to switch to a frame which doesn't exist. I'm just randomly giving some ABCD in the frame command, okay? So it will try to switch to a non-existing frame. So what will happen guys? It will give you no such frame exception in this case. Run this, you'll get no such frame exception. Yeah, let's go here and see that we got no such frame exception. Now let's go with the next one. So the next uh, type of exception that uh, we generally come across is no, no alert present exception. So if you're trying to switch to an alert, but that alert is not displayed on the page, then you'll get this no alert present exception. 
I'll go to this login page, guys. Similarly, I'll go to the login page, and uh, there is no alert here to for switching, right? On this page, there is no alert coming so that you can switch. But I'm still trying to switch to an alert. So in that case, you'll get this exception known as no alert present exception. Let me show you. Let's run this and show you this exception. So let it run. Let the automation code run. Once it runs, uh, I'll show you. You see, you got this no alert present exception because there is no alert on the page to switch. So I already demonstrated four exceptions for you so far. There is no such element exception, no win, no such window exception, no such frame exception, and no alert present exception. Now let's go to the another type of exception that is a invalid selector exception. Okay, invalid selector exception. So what I will do here is I will one minute. Uh, let me comment this. And uh, okay, so fine. Okay, invalid uh, selector exception. So what is this? Okay, let let me comment this one only. Okay, this is the correct one for this. Okay, this page we have to go. So initially, this xpath is correct, guys. Okay, this xpath is correct. Double slash input the format of this xpath is correct. But I want to make this xpath invalid. Okay, every xpath will start with this double slash, right? But I will try to add triple slash. Okay, this is according. It's not according to the rules of the XPath, right? So XPath uh, will not start with three slashes. No XPath will start with three slashes. There is a kind of syntax problem with this XPath. So in such kind of cases, when you provide a non non a, a non proper kind of XPath, right? Then you will get this invalid selector. This is not a proper XPath kind of uh, message. Nothing but invalid selector exception. Okay, so XPath cannot have three slashes. That's the thing, guys. Okay, let me run this and show you. That uh, you'll get invalid selector exception in this case. Let's run this. So, like this, guys, uh, you'll get different type of exceptions when you work with Selenium WebDriver. Okay, I'm just uh, I just gathered few examples so that you can understand. So here we got uh, invalid selector exception because this XPath whatever we have given for finding the element right is not a proper format thing. Okay, so no XPath will have three slashes. That's the problem. Fine, this is done. The next one element. Not interactable exception. So for this, I'll go with uh, another website. I'll just uncomment that and then I'll open this application this time. Okay, omaya.blogspot.com application. It will be open. On this application, there is a hidden button, guys. I'm trying to click on the hidden button. Let me show you. First, let me open that application for you and show you where exactly that hidden button is there. Okay, I'll go to this application page and I'll scroll down here. Here you see, guys, there is a hidden button. Okay, under this hidden button label, there is a hidden button. So if I inspect something like this, and then if I properly find it out, this is a hidden button, guys. Okay, this is nothing but the hidden button. So this button is not visible here. You see this blank area. You can see right. There is a button, but it's not displayed on the page. So what what happens if I try to click on this hidden button? What if I am trying to click on hidden button using the Selenium automation code? What will happen, guys? We'll get this element not interactable exception. Okay, you know, try to click on a button which is not visible at least. You'll get element not interactable exception. Let me show you. Let me run this and show you. You'll get element not interactable exception. So let it run. Fine. It will try to click on the hidden button, but the hidden button is not there. So an exception will be there. So it's still running, guys. Let's wait for it to complete. Let it load, then we can see the exception coming. Okay, it's still running. It's still running, guys. Let's see. So let's go here. It has completely run, and you see here we got element not interactable exception. Okay, so we are when we are trying to click on a hidden button, we are getting this exception, guys. And finally, the last one, guys. It's very easy. So I'll go to one application, and uh, what I will do is I'll go to this application, the first application. That is uh, this one, login page of Tutorials Ninja. And after going there, first I'll quit the browser, guys. Okay, first I'll quit the browser. After quitting the browser, I'll try to perform something. Okay. So after go, I go here to this login page. Then I quit the browser. Once I quit the browser, I'm trying to click on this login button. You are getting the point, right? So I'll go to this login page first. Login page. Once I go to the login page, so what I'm going to do is, I'll first close the browser and try to click on the login button. What will happen, guys? 
can we click no right when the browser is closed can we click on the login button no in that cases guys when you try to click on a login button after the browser is closed you will get no such session exception let me show you practically let's run this code you will see that no such session exception will be displayed you see no such session exception by the time the script is trying to click on the login button the session is already closed the browser is already closed that's why we'll get this kind of exceptions so guys these are few practical demonstrations i want to give for you so that you can understand uh, the different type of exceptions like no such element exception no such window exception no such frame exception no alert present exception invalid selector exception element not interactable exception no such session exception and there are many more exceptions guys which i cannot cover uh, which for which the practical demonstration cannot be covered in this session so there are other kind of exceptions like element not selectable exception timeout exceptions state element reference exceptions and many more so hope guys you understood how to answer this question that is what are the different type of exceptions you have faced in selenium webdriver so that's it guys thank you bye